Key Kelly, Southwest Florida Republican Congressman Connie Mack falling short tonight in his quest to unseat incumbent Democratic Senator Bill Nelson. That's right. Here's a look at the numbers tonight. Senator Nelson with 55% of the vote to Connie Mack with 42% of the vote. This is a wider gap than even the polls were suggesting before Election Day. For New Course, John Rapolo live at the Coconut Hyatt Hotel in Bonita Springs, where Congressman Mack addressed his supporters just a short while ago. Well, it's not the night that they hoped for, that's for sure. Connie Mack addressing his supporters inside this ballroom at the Hyatt Regency in Bonita Springs at about 9.30 tonight. Now, this race was essentially over by 8 o'clock tonight. The Associated Press called this rest, uh, race. Now, take a look. Not many supporters gathered here tonight at the Hyatt Regency. Mack's name couldn't defeat the two-term incumbent, Senator Bill Nelson, Connie Mack's father, introducing him here tonight. Now, it was a very harsh campaign with negative ads on both sides. Here are some of Mac's comments earlier. Take a listen. This is not a sad moment, my friends. Uh, this is a, an inspiring moment. This is about what America is. We went through the battle of a campaign. We fought hard to win. We didn't win. But we continue to fight for the ideals and the beliefs that we've always believed in. Yeah, you know, and Connie Mack joking during his speech, telling reporters not to talk to any of his college buddies. Got kind of a chuckle, not only from reporters, but uh, his supporters here. Uh, we did try to talk to Connie Mack after the speech. He went behind that black curtain there behind me, and we uh, haven't seen him since. We're going to have much more, hear more from uh, Connie Mack uh, during his uh, speech coming up at 1030 and again at 11 o'clock. For now, we're live. At Mac campaign, uh, uh, the Mac campaign party, John Rapolo, Fox 4, in your corner. In the